how did this whole adventure come together today? I was just struggling creatively and I thought, who are my friends that inspire me the most and how can I get back into art this upcoming month? So of course I thought of Simone. I feel like this day to come to New York was on the whim, like most things I do with Nicole. I think I just texted you and said, hey, do you just want to go to New York sometime soon and just put a bunch of stuff all over the city? I think you responded within like 20 seconds and you were just like, yes, absolutely. <laughs> and I had reached out to Eric and Hannah because they're also two people that inspire me creatively. And I knew that I would love to have them to document it. I feel like it's cool to also just have the freedom to be able to just be in the car, drive around, see a wall that looks really good and be like, hey, we're gonna stop here and put something up just because we can and hopefully we won't get a ticket when we stop the car. Oh. This is kind of an interesting spot. Yeah, I would have something there. I put up street art in different cities, but I've never put up anything yeah. in New York before. Mm -hmm. To come up with a new idea or a new series and like bring it there, put it all up for the day, uh, it's pretty cool. Love it. What pieces are you installing today? I started a series paying homage to Frank Ocean, my boo thing. This is from one of my favorite songs called Self Control. I did a series of speech bubbles that you can interactive stand next to them and look like you're saying his lyrics or singing them. And I put them in the different areas of the city, kind of like a scavenger hunt. And our time was right. He's been doing a lot of work out of New York, and if I could do anything to get his attention, even in the slightest way, yeah, I need something from him. Yeah. Or to have other Frank Ocean fans feel inspired by the things yeah. that he has in his he lyrics, that like would make me so happy. I could That's a double edge, just a knife, knife. I don't like to fight till I'm fighting. Chopping the sky like a gun trick. Yeah. Clips on clips like Mike. Hello. It's really you uh, see both sides like Chanel. See on both sides like Chanel. I feel like the themes I mainly explore through my art are pop culture, LGBT, and mental health, or just kind of lyrics and music. So today I'm doing a couple of different pieces. One that is a giant Snorlax. His little feet. His little like claw. Yeah. And he's holding a couple different LGBT flags. We have the rainbow flag, we have the bisexual flag, and we have the transgender flag. It says, take naps, stay woke. Oh, I like it around oh, the corner. Have a in your hat. <laughs> yeah. Baby's first week <laughs> Then the other piece I have is lips and they are drinking out of a gin and tonic, um, but I did a little play on words and said, you taste like gin and toxic. And that one was just kind of inspired by a relationship that you kind of knew from the start wasn't gonna be great, but you kind of go with it anyways, and you just know that from the start it was gonna be a little bit toxic. All right, let's roll. The third one I'm putting up was kind of an homage to some childhood cartoons that I loved. Thank you so much. So I have Bubbles from Cartoon Network, Cartoon Lizzie McGuire, and Helga from Nickelodeon. 
just as just kind of like fun pop culture thing. I love these girls. <laughs> it's the three moods. The three blonde moods. Okay, they want a girl? I can be a total girl. I'm going to be the girliest girl they've ever seen. The last piece is a collaboration between Simone and I and also Naomi Rag. And it is a wheat paste and crochet collaboration of a girl blowing a dandelion. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be a girl. Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. You have to come back and see it. Thank you. The portrait that I had made is of like a little girl. So to be able to like see yourself on the wall or somebody that looks like you is I think really cool. And like to have that many people walking by it, I think is really awesome. I always love the juxtaposition of paste and yarn and any chance that I can get to collaborate with an artist who uses my same medium is really special to me because it's just it's a bond that a lot of other people don't understand so it's cool to connect on that level with someone else. I think it's really fun to work with fiber artists in the sense that it literally is coming off of the board so to see what we're doing kind of literally come to life is, I think, incredible. <laughs> Growing up, I would never saw anyone putting up street art, and I think had I seen that younger, I would have been more propelled towards this career quicker. So it's just letting kids know that you can be an artist and there's all different ways to express yourself. I am shooketh. Oh my gosh, it's so good. My Christian is beautiful. Do you think you'll do a traveling installation day like this again? If I could travel across the country, across the world to do art, that would be like top tier goals. That sounds like a literal dream come true. You are giving people accessible public art and to do it on no agenda other than for it to beautify an area. I think that's really important. Being street artists, we're so lucky and so grateful that we are able to do this kind of work. If I could travel the world, travel the country doing this, I don't think there's anything more I would want in my entire life.